Hey guys, let's mod. Let's jump right into it. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to extract a cyberface from the game. So we're going to take a cyberface that's already in the game and we're going to grab those files. All right. So the first thing, let's figure out what we're doing here. So go over to wherever your NBA 2K18 files are located, like your regular game files that you install. Um, for me, you can see mine are here inside of my Steam, then Steam apps, then common 2K18 folder. All right, so it has a lot of archives here and all the files are inside of these archives. So everything is compressed. It's a lot of compression. So I'm gonna use LeBron James as my example because I know his Cyberface ID is 1013 and he's my go-to. So if you wanna extract any Cyberface, you need to know the Cyberface ID number and down in the description, well, I'll, I'll try to have a link to a list of all the cyber faces for you guys. I made a list of all the cyber faces that I know of. OK. All right. So what you want to do is. You want to. You want to find this manifest file. OK, the manifest file will tell me where the cyber face is that I want. So you can open this up with notepad or you can open it up with a hex editor. Today, I'm going to open it with a hex editor. But if you open it with notepad, it will work the same. All right. So I already have my hex editor open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press control F. I'm going to search for PNG 1013 if because that's LeBron James. All right. So this these two characters at the very end is the archive that this file is in. It's in archive OS. So when I pull this back up. It's in archive zero S I'm sorry. It's, it's inside of this here. Okay. Um, also, if you notice, there's a face 1013 dot if file, which is also in archive OS. So what I'm going to do is now you need to have, you can, you, you can do this with NBA 2k 16, 17 or 18. So what you need to have is if you're doing 2K18, you need to have a program called NBA 2K17 Explorer. It'll work for extracting files for 2K17 and 2K18. All right. So if you're using NBA 2K16 to try to extract a file, you need a, um, a program called NBA 2K Explorer. I think it's just called NBA 2K Explorer or maybe it's called NBA 2K16 Explorer. I don't know. You can just Google it if I don't have the link in the description at the time you're viewing this video all right so i know my files are in archive os so i need to open up archive os and i'm going to do that by opening up nba 2k17 explorer it's loading up all right the first thing i need to do is go to options preferences and i need to find os um, here it is. OS, I click that and then I just click. Well, if you've never used this, you'll need to also make sure you have your directory for your game. So I'm using, it says select NBA 2K17 directory, but I'm doing this for 2K18. So I selected my directory for 2K18. Okay. But anyway, um, if you already know how to do this, don't mess with that. All right, click OS. Then just click X and file, load archives. It's going to take a little while to load, but let it load up. And again, we're going to want to extract the face 1013 if and the PNG 1013 if. Okay. Now you can you can extract whatever cyber face you want as long as you know the archive. All right, everything's loaded up. So here in the search bar, I'm going to search for PNG 1013 and press enter. And there it is. And if I just scroll down a little, I see face 1013.if. It's right there. So I can extract these files to my desktop if I want. Uh, you just go export archive 
and then you find you know I'm gonna do desktop just find where you want to put it click Save and here it is right here on my desktop and then we're gonna do the other one export archive face to the desktop all right so now I've done that I can close this program so face 1013 if PNG 1013 if okay so now I can just I mean I can do many things with these files I can you know start extracting the 3d models I can update the face texture or I can just change the CF ID I can change the cyberface ID to something else you know if I want to have multiple LeBron cyberfaces I can change this cyberface ID to something else so that's what this is very useful for um, also things like if you want players to be coaches but it didn't happen in your my league or you're trying to just use a play now roster let's say you want Kyrie Irving or LeBron James to be the uh, coach of the Cleveland Cavaliers, then you just change the Cyberface ID to be the same Cyberface ID as Teron Lou, and then when you you put this in your modded folder, and then he'll be the coach. All right, so this video is done. That's how you extract the Cyberface files. Do whatever you want with them, and then just add them to your modded folder. All right, that's all I got, guys. Uh, gonna do more of these videos i am out till next time let's mod